everybody, it's Laura. I'm making a delicious appetizer today. It is mushroom pate, just made with a few ingredients and it's really savory and delicious. I know you guys will love it. It comes together really quickly, so if you need it for guests one evening, you can put it together in under 30 minutes and it really tastes delicious. So I'm gonna start now. I already have my pan getting hot with a little bit of olive oil. And I have about um, some washed and sliced cremini mushrooms. Those are baby, uh, baby portobello mushrooms that I have cleaned and sliced. And I'm going to put them in the oil and just saute them um, until they get lightly browned. And the way that I usually make this recipe is I use uh, walnuts. But I have a friend that is, has a nut allergy, so I thought, you know, that would be really nice to try and make a version for him that he could eat and, um, oops, and have seeds instead of nuts, and it worked out really well. It was really delicious, and he loved it. So um, I know there are a lot of people out there with nut allergies, so this is a really good way to um, have it a delicious, savory, vegan appetizer. Um, that is both vegan and gluten-free and also nut-free, but you can certainly use the um, walnuts. Uh, that's what the original recipe has, but the other is just uh, sunflower seeds. So I'm going to add a little bit more oil. It already smells so delicious. I love mushrooms. My husband loves mushrooms. So we cook with them a lot. And they're just very savory. And I, I love the kind of earthy flavor that they have. You could also use shiitake. That would be another one. Um, or large portobellos if you wanted to slice them thinner. But... Um, these are really readily available, inexpensive, really good. All right, so I'm actually just gonna let them sit to brown for a little bit. Sometimes if you leave mushrooms just kind of sitting on one side, they brown a little bit faster. All right, and then what I'm gonna be doing is adding some uh, chopped, finely chopped garlic, uh, four cloves. And the other ingredient that makes this really savory and delicious is fresh thyme. This is from my garden. I love, love thyme. Um, it's such a pretty leaf. They're very tiny leaves, but a little bit goes a long way. Um, and you only need about four or five sprigs of that. If you don't have fresh thyme, you can use dried thyme. I think probably about a quarter of a teaspoon of dried thyme. And um, as with all these things, you can, you know, kind of taste it uh, as you're cooking it to see if it needs any more salt or additional flavor. So these are starting to brown a little bit. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to add our garlic and let that cook as well. Get all that yummy garlic. And that way, if you don't cook the garlic first, then it won't burn because sometimes if you just are cooking the very finely chopped garlic, that will burn very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit. And the other thing is a dry white wine, which also adds another depth of flavor to this dish. It's so good. Wine really does make a difference. It, um, of course, you don't need to use it. If you don't want wine, you can substitute uh, vegetable stock. Um, then you'll have to go a little bit lighter on the salt probably because it might be too salty. But um, you can, I mean, I guess you could use water as well. I mean, the flavor is not going to be the same. But I really love cooking with wine. It definitely adds another layer of flavor. It's very, very good. Um, and what we're going to do is let everything simmer after it has sautéed just for a few minutes. We're going to let it simmer in the wine for about 15 minutes and then let it cool down 
and come back to it and then put it in the food processor to actually make the pate. But this is the, the first part that smells divine. It's so delicious. If you love mushrooms and garlic, I mean, you're going to love this. But And you don't have to use as much garlic as I do, but again, I love to cook with garlic, so... Okay, now I'm going to add a little salt, about a teaspoon of salt. A little pepper. A pinch of freshly ground pepper. And now about a half a cup of white wine, a dry white wine, Pinot Grigio or uh, Sauvignon Blanc. They're both very good for this. And I'm going to add some lovely aromatic. Smells so, so good. I love fresh herbs. If you can get them or grow them, that is really the best way. Dried is always great to have on hand, too. But you're just going to take off the little leaves. It's okay if you get a little bit of the stems in there. Not the woody stem, but the little more delicate stems. I just kind of usually pull it the opposite way to get the little leaves off. So we're going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes. And then let it cool down and then we'll add our sunflower seeds and process everything let it chill for a little bit and then serve. We want to serve at room temperature to cool. It's really, really good. Okay, back and ready to finish up my mushroom pate. I have my um, sauteed mushrooms that have been simmering with white wine and garlic and thyme and salt. It really smells delicious. And they have cooled down, so now I'm going to combine it with the uh, sesame seeds, um, I'm sorry, not sesame seeds, sunflower seeds um, that I'm using in this pate. So again, you can use um, walnuts, but I'm using um, sunflower seeds in this recipe for anybody that has a nut allergy. So, all right, so what I've got here is my food processor, and I'm going to add a cup of the sunflower seeds and my mushroom mixture. Get all that in there, all the flavor. Okay, and put that aside. All right, and then the only thing I'm gonna do too is add just a little bit of water to get this going. And you might have to add, um, I just put a little cup of water in here, um, just as much water as needed for it to process and combine well. But you're gonna have to keep scraping down the sides. So. It does get a little loud, but okay. So again, you do have to keep scraping down the sides in these types of recipes. And you just want to blend it a few times until you get the consistency of um, pate. But it's much nicer than real pate because it's not um, livers, it's nuts and mushrooms. Okay, so let's let that go again. Just scraping down the sides, making sure it's all getting combined. And you want it, um, a, you want it to be a fairly smooth consistency. Okay. Well, that looks like the right consistency now. So I'll show you. And you want to be careful with this blade, but. The consistency is great. It's not 
always the prettiest color, but I always add a little bit of fresh thyme on top as well. So I'm going to carefully remove this blade. Set that aside and say, look at that texture. It's really amazing how this comes together with just a couple of ingredients really, really pretty quickly. Okay. So I have our nice little cup and I like to serve it. You know, just in a nice little ramekin or little bowl. And you're going to want to put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve. Maybe take it out um, a few minutes before you're ready to serve it. So it's room temperature or a little on the cooler side. And the, light, the way I like to do it, oops, I left a little piece there, is just put a little fresh thyme on top, make it look nice my little ramekin and I will have a taste have a little cracker here look at that it spreads really nicely mmm really good guys very savory earthy salty if you love mushrooms, again, you will love this dish. But it's an excellent appetizer. Keep it in the fridge for a few days. Um, you could also spread it on a sandwich. It's really, really delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will post the recipe in the description. Follow Laura's Vegan Table and uh, Laura Nature Girl. I'll be posting some more videos soon.